what's happening everyone welcome back to the channel get up and out from off the streets come on into your home come on into wherever you are maybe you're on the train maybe you're in your car don't look at the screen just listen that's all you need to do here is just listen today we are listening to roxy music we're going to listen to the first track off the album stranded released 1973 which is street life hence why i said you know get off the streets get into the home get into the car get into the train get into wherever you are and just relax for a moment Go back to the street life in just a moment after this but for now we're going to relax we haven't listened to roxy music in a long time so i just chose this this track to be honest like, there's no rhyme or reason i just chose it sometimes that's what i do i just I just pull things up and then we're going to put them down so let's go ahead and give it a listen right now we'll talk about it a little bit after hope you're doing great i'm about to cough hold on let me mute myself like that. didn't even hear it see that's how good it is anyways street life here we go That is how you open an album. That That is how you get into it. Straight in, punches, none pulled, just kicks straight to your butt. That's a great opener for the album. It, it's, it doesn't take any time in telling you what it's trying to do. It doesn't take any time, doesn't waste any time in getting right to the point and hitting you right to the point. Um, so where do we start? Fairy, sounds great as always. I love this suave there's there's a way of describing that but the, i love that suave attitude that he has in his voice and his delivery of course the infamous vibrato you like it you don't like it but it's there and to me 
It sounds great. I love when he hits that little bit of a higher note, puts in that vibrato, all instruments silence just in the echoes of that and allows his voice to go over. Then you have the horns that come in. The whole song has this very nice swing movement to it. And I would even say it has a very like urban movement to it. Like the street life, I guess, yes, it makes sense. You know, like it just has this kind of city walking down the streets kind of kind of sound to it where like the city is a glow where there's this romantic uh um ideal of like a city and that kind of thing and that's what i that's what i hear and see when i'm listening to this um i can't tell if it's jobson or manzanera uh <laughs> who's creating that sound that i heard in there i mentioned it a few times but it's kind of a drony to me it sounds like a keyboard but it could also be guitar i don't think it's violin but knowing Jobson and what he does, it, it could be, but I really don't think so. So I'm leaning keyboard or guitar. I don't know. But I think it's such a cool sound that's, that's in there. And it creates this like very unique vibe into the music. And I think that that's just a wonderful effect. Uh, you heard it in the beginning and then you heard it later on. And I think that's that just works so, so stunningly well. Then you have the hand claps that just like have this upbeat, cheerful kind of feeling to it as well. Uh, lyrically couldn't tell you what it's about because I wasn't really paying that much attention. So let's do that now. Wish everybody would leave me alone. They're always calling on my tele telephone. When I pick it up, there's no one there. So I walk outside just to take the air. So spam texters. Come on with me cruising down the street. Who knows what you'll see, who you might meet. This brave new world's not like yesterday. It can take you higher than the Milky Way. Now I'm blinded, I can really see. No more bright lights confusing me. Don't ask me why I'm feeling blue because loving you is all I can do. So he goes outside to clear his mind and he's just realizing, he says, oh, don't ask me why I'm feeling blue. All I can do is love you. Hey, good looking boys, gather around. The sidewalk paper's gotta press you down. I like that, gotta press you down, but probably gonna press you down. All those lies can be so unkind. They can make you feel like you're losing your mind. So. Even the media can make you feel like you're losing your mind. Back to Nature Boys, Vassar Girls 2. Watch what you say or think or do, Continental, continental Style Strauss Girls. Does it, isn't Strauss just street in German? But you know exactly if... Oh, street, street girl. Mm, that's my Switzerland vacation coming in because everything was something Strauss. Uh, but you know exactly if it's wrong or right. Education is an important key, but the good life's never won by degrees. That was a good line. Pointless passing through Harvard or Yale. Only window shopping, it's strictly no sale. That's a good verse. Weekend starts Friday soon after 8. Your jet black magic helps you celebrate. You may be stranded if you stick around. And that's really something. Mmm. Hmm, let's dive into this one a little bit here, huh? Uh, Fairy says of this track, I wanted it to be a high energy fun song, buzzy and vibrant. And I hope the words convey some sort of that. Ooh, I don't know how to say that. And I, I apologize. Je de vive. Je de vive. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. And I'm not sure what that means, to be honest. Each verse seems to have its own character, like blocks on a street. That's actually a really good. Uh, it's a really good note. He also noted that connoisseurs might notice the number of allusions to various brands of chocolate, such as Milky Way, After Eight, and Black Magic, in spite that he never touched the stuff. <laughs> I, I would have never thought that. Um, the only thing I recognize out of that is Milky Way, and I was thinking of a galaxy because he mentions being higher and going higher than that. Um, McKay stated that the song has great lyrics, a real swagger to it. Uh, I, I think that was wonderful. It looks like it was also released as a single, and it reached the top 10 in the UK. That's a really good track. Great opener. Um, you know what I also thought about listening to this? And this is going to be, this is gonna be a, a long one. So hear me out, okay? Is it just me or is there, is there a slight comparison to be drawn between Roxy Music, ooh, this is gonna be a long one, I know, and Van de Graaff Generator? Because I feel like they're both taking a, a style of music, a conventional style of music to an extent, and, and they are morphing it into something kind of completely different. It's like Heartache from Roxy Music is actually the best song I, I should use to make this point. I don't know why I'm just thinking of it now. And yeah, there's something to be said about, you know, the keyboards and, and stuff like that. But like, I'm not the keyboards, the um, uh, saxophone and stuff. But I feel like both bands reach for a certain 
you could argue darkness, but I would rather just say a, a different side of life. They, they reach for something deeper. Van der Graaff Generator may be a little bit more philosophical in their leanings, but Roxy Music does a similar thing with a lot of their lyrics as well, where it's this clever with a deep meaning behind the, the exterior and the flesh. I feel like both bands have a way of diving deeper into lyrical and musical themes. I don't know why I just thought that while I was listening to this. It's a random thought. Anyways, let me know if I'm crazy or if there's a drawn a comparison to be drawn or, or whatever. Uh, but let me know what you thought of the track as well in the comments down below. You can follow me over on Twitter. You can support what I do on Patreon. Hope that you enjoyed your day and I hope you enjoyed your time here. I hope you come back tomorrow and I hope and I hope and I hope for the best things for you. I'll talk to you all later, guys. Bye.